Well, if you follow along with my videos, you know me and the Montana have started to go to a lot of places. We keep pushing that boundary farther and farther out. And eventually we want to go coast to coast. I decided to run an errand and go into town. Well, about two or three miles from the cabin, a big rainstorm hit. Windshield wipers seem to be working fine. They just stopped. Well, let me show you how I fixed that. the wiper motor system on the Montana and how I was able to fix it. I know the one thing I could say about the 2004 Pontiac Montana, it, it is literally the most comfortable vehicle I have ever owned. It's like sitting in a lazy boy chair going down the interstate. What I'm going to do to help you out, I'm going to go ahead and take it back apart and show you exactly what I did in order to get the system to work correctly. A little bit, there's a step that's a little bit puzzling that I had to watch a couple videos myself and go over and over and kind of piece all the videos together till I finally figured out what was going wrong with my wiper blade system. First thing you want to do is you want to remove this cover. Make sure it's kind of like a guard. So if you're working on your car and the wipers come on, this motor system right here will not damage your fingers. Now that you have your guard off, this is your wiper blade motor underneath here. And then there's a mechanism right now called the control arm. And it actually is what functions and moves the other arms back and forth in order to get the wiper to work. You now, have your arms connect to your wiper blades. And then you have this control arm right here, which is hooked on to the motor itself. Let me turn this on and show you exactly how this works. Okay, it may not be a complicated system to the engineers that developed it. It's really crazy the way it actually goes around when you go to put it in the park position, and that's when your wipers are set on the rest position. It's called the park position. The way it actually stretches out and goes back and kind of reverses itself in order to get the wipers to sit down the way they are. Is there is a screw right in the middle of this control arm right here, that screw had come loose. The motor was able to turn on the inside, but the control arm that sits on top of it wasn't moving. The screw had come loose, and the motor was turning without the control arm turning with it. So I thought the easy fix was to go ahead and tighten the screw. I got into Montana, turned it on, and the wiper started working again. I thought, well, this is awesome. This is great, except when I went to shut it off, the wipers, instead of coming down and laying in their rest position, stopped and rested straight up and down. So the screw I'm talking about is right here in the center. So before I take it back out, is this control arm has a couple bolts on either side of it right here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this control arm off. Now what you want to do is just loosen them up. You don't have to take them all the way out because eventually the control arm will slip off the bracket that it's sitting on. Okay, now that you got those two bolts right there loosened, the control arm comes out. You don't have to loosen them all the way. Just make sure it's loose enough to come off this stub right here. So 
That right there is your control arm. You have to take out this bolt in order for this control arm to come off. Be careful not to lose it because that would be a real problem if you did. This control arm will just come straight off. There is your wiper blade motor that's underneath this shield right here. And this is the control mechanism arm right here. It's a pretty complicated design actually. It's got some springs in it, it's got some gears in it. You can see that I've kind of got it all lubricated. And this is this little spring loaded mechanism right here. If that's not put in a proper position, it will not allow this control arm to go in reverse and put the blades in the park position. So you have got this control arm and you have the motor that is sitting right here and it has a stud sticking up. So this control arm sits down on top of that stud and then the bolt that I took out goes through the middle, you tighten it down, the motor works the actual wiper blade. The wiper blades actually will spin all the way around and stop. Spin around and stop. When you're ready to put it into park position and you shut them off, it actually reverses itself and goes counterclockwise, stretches out, and parks the wiper blades. And that's what all these, like this little pin right here, and you can turn around on the back and you can see this slot right here, that is all controlled and that's what puts it in the park position. This is so hard to explain. But the things that you gotta know is this. I got home last night and I started troubleshooting and noticed that bolt was loose. So I went in and tightened that bolt down and thought, ah, I fixed it, but I didn't. The reason why is because when I was out on the road and that screw had become loose, that motor was allowed to turn inside without moving this control arm. It's hard to tell exactly where the motor was. I just put this back on, or I just tightened that screw and thought everything was good. Well, after looking at the research and trying to study on how this works, I realized in order for you to put this back on, it has to be in the proper position. Your motor has to be in the proper position to sync up with this arm right here so complicated I know I don't know who the guy was that designed this but man I bet, he, I bet he made quite a bit of money and I bet he's a pretty smart dude but man it makes it rough to try to explain what is going on here I have my wiper blades off and they are in the down park position I'm gonna make sure that this little spring loaded mechanism okay so here is your motor shaft that is coming up it has the splines on it and the splines will mate with the splines inside this control arm and that's what makes the whole system work. But you have a little piece of metal right here sticking up. It's a little plate that's been welded on and it has a little piece of metal right here. The mechanism here will actually nestle right against that and that allows this arm to stop and then go in reverse. Like I said, complicated, yes. I think it is. Hole right here has splines on it and this is where that bolt will go through and the two will mate each other. Because I've looked at this and studied it enough, I know that is in the parking position. If it was sticking straight out, that would be more of the resting position. But because it's back, it is facing at an angle heading back toward the firewall, that is in the park position. Your wipers have come down but they're resting. You're, you've got your intermittent mode going on. But whenever you go to shut it off, the motor reverses, which brings the wipers all the way down into the position that they're in right now. So I've got that put back on, and then I take that, I take that little boat right there. It's got a little star head on it, but I just use this little star bit right here. I used it, and I used a little quarter inch socket, and that fit in there like that right there. I got a feeling this is something that you don't want to over tighten and it doesn't do any good if you break that bolt off. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it on again. And what should happen is right now this mechanism is pointing back toward the firewall. It's not parallel to the firewall, it's pointing back. When I turn it on, you'll see it'll make a rotation around, but then it'll stop pointing straight out because I'll have it on the intermittent stage pointing straight out, then it'll spin all the way around, stop. And when I shut it off, 
you'll see it actually it'll come around and then it'll reverse itself and head back toward the firewall. It's funny I had this all put back together working right and I almost told myself hey don't take it back apart again because it's going to be complicated to put back together but I feel strongly that if you're out there and this is a problem with your 2004 Pontiac Montana you want to know how to fix it. I thought I'd give it a shot and take it back apart so I can make this little video and show you how it's done. Okay, this is in the resting position. The motor and the control arm is in the resting position. I'm gonna turn it on into the intermittent position and then I'll turn it back off again. Got it all put back together. Now for some reason, when I put it together last night, the intermittent stage would face parallel to the firewall. Now the control arm is facing a little bit out toward the front of the vehicle in an intermittent pause stage. Why? I don't know. Like I said before, I'm definitely not a mechanic. I'm just trying to work on things maybe to save a little bit of money rather than have to take it to my mechanic and have him work on it and cost a lot of money it looks like to me like it's working okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to tighten this bolt on the control arm up one more time make sure it's nice and snug make sure my two bolts that are holding the arm that comes that actually attaches to the wipers are tight and then i'm going to go on down the road but you know what i always do in a case like this the tools that I'm using to work on this, I'm going to go ahead and put them in my pocket on my side door. Just in case that next time I'm driving down the road or going through a mountainside in heavy rain and they stop, well, guess what? I'll be able to pull over, get out, fix them, and go on down the road. This is one complicated system. Well, I appreciate you coming to the channel. That's LAF Space Film Fest. That's capital LAF Space Film Fest. I hope this helps you. I hope this doesn't confuse you. You may actually watch this video and the way it's going to help you is you'll end up taking it to your mechanic and have him fixing it rather than try to do it yourself. Remember, be very, very careful around this. It would probably be a good idea to go ahead and unhook the wires to the wiper motor. And that way there, when you're working on it, something is not going to short out and cause that mechanism to move and get your fingers caught in it. I hope this is the last thing I've got to fix on the Montana, but I've got to remember, it is a 2004 Pontiac Montana. 17 years old. It's gonna have a few hiccups and a few burps now and then. Same as me. But what we do is try to fix ourselves, put ourselves back together, and head on down that road. Please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you think it's gonna help or a lot of my videos when it comes to mechanics are more of a warning video. Do not try this yourself because this is what you run into. And you have a good day.
that's the way that's done.